Hello everybody! I thought I would play some online quizzes. So I have found some quizzes on BuzzFeed. Actually that's a lie. I found one quiz on BuzzFeed and I'm going to search for some other quizzes in a minute. So anyway, um, first one because it's so amusing. Can you tell these commonly confused animals apart? Okay, there are some like more adult versions of the quizzes on here. I might do those, we'll see. This is quite a tame one to start with, we'll work our way in. There's a whole load of different quizzes on BuzzFeed. BuzzFeed is the website everyone loves to hate, but eh, it provides some amusement sometimes. So, is this an alpaca or a llama? Ooh, I don't know. Um, I'm going to say, I want alpaca. Although I'm thinking llama. Oh, I've got it right. Okay. Is which one of these is an opossum? Possum. That's that one. Ah, okay, please don't switch off now if you're watching thinking, oh this is really dull. Okay, I I will do more interesting quizzes in a minute. Is this a cheetah or a leopard? This is clearly a leopard. Which of these is a sea lion? I'm going to say that one. Is this an alligator or a crocodile? That is a crocodile. Oh, it's an alligator. I thought alligators were thinner. Clearly I got that wrong. Alligators have a wide nose. U-shaped snouts. So the crocodiles are pointier. Okay, there we go. Which one of these is an anteater? Correct. Which is this a dolphin or a porpoise? Okay, I'm gonna say it's a porpoise. There we go. Dolphins have longer noses. Is a which one of these is a tortoise? That one. This is a butterfly moth. See this one. To me, that looks like a moth, but it's um, in broad daylight, which has confused me because you don't tend to see moths in the daylight. Uh, so it could be a butterfly, but I'm going to put moth. Uh, it is a butterfly. That antennae, a butterfly's antennae are cold shaped with bulbs at the end, so moths tend to be feathery. Okay, yeah, fair enough. Is this a, which one of these is an Asian elephant? I'm going to say that one. Okay, 8 out of 10. Okay, so, not very exciting. Let's see. Have you got weird fruits? opinions. Do you act like you don't have any opinions on fruit? Okay, can you guess what kind of introvert are you? Some of these quizzes are stupid like which sandwich are you going to eat today? Really BuzzFeed? Really? Right, so that last quiz was a bit dull so um, I found out would you rather quiz. So would you rather save the life of a starting African child that you will never meet or have a working lifesaver? Um, I'd say the life of a child, to be honest. Uh, okay. Um, would you rather take a European sightseeing vacation, this is obviously American, because it's an American word, or a relaxing Caribbean, a relaxing vacation, uh, Caribbean, definitely. Uh, would you rather legally change your last name to Hitler, never eat chocolate again? I never eat chocolate again. I'm not going to change my name to Hitler. Okay, I love chocolate, but I am trying to cut out sugar. It's a bit more even than I thought it would be. Would you rather have no internet, no cell phone? Uh, well, to be honest, phone is pretty damn important for my line of work. Um, I can't really do my job without my phone. Um, although, no internet, I couldn't make YouTube videos. <sighs> I'm going to say no internet. It doesn't say it's forever. Would you rather have no one show up to your wedding, your funeral? Well, by no one. I'd hope my um, fiancé, who's going to be my wife, would turn up. 
Uh, if it's my funeral, then well, I'm dead. It would be nice if I had lots of people coming to my funeral, but I'm not going to know about it, so I'm going to say funeral. Uh, would you rather go way back in time and meet your ancestors? Like the says pre 1800s, like that's way back. When it said way back, I was thinking like 1400s, 1300s, or earlier. Way, uh, go way into the future and meet your great grandchildren. Um, well, if you go back in time, then you could change things, and that causes paradoxes, and then that's just a mess. And of course, then that you'd have like alternate universes. Da, 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 da. Uh, going to the future. Would you rather live in a world where there are no problems, live in a world where you rule? I'd uh, live in a world with no problems. Uh, would you rather live in Harry Potter's world, live, in, live a life of fame and wealth? Um, I'd live in Harry Potter's world. I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan in the world, to be honest. But... Might be cool to learn some magic. I mean, I'm a muggle. We're all muggles, unfortunately. I'm going to change the camera settings. I'm way too bright. I changed, I tried playing around with the white balance because of the lights I'm using, I thought, made me look a bit yellow. But I'm just looking at myself in the picture. I'm thinking, I'm really... It's too, too bright. So, hang on. I'm just going to fiddle with this. Would you rather date a celebrity of your choice, your crush, the hottest person you know, easily that one, whoever that is. Um, would you rather find true love, ten million dollars, true love. I'm getting bored of this quiz, I'm going to see if I can find another one. It's just a lot of things like that. It's not very uh, exciting. Let's find another one. So I found another quiz. This one says, what do the images you like say about you? Okay, begin game. Pick a colour. I'm going to go for red because that's the theme I'm using for this year's YouTube channel. Choose your favourite sunset. I don't know. I'm, I'm drawn to that one. Smoke level. Uh, that one. Uh, what cocktail do you want to sip on? Oh, I don't like cocktails. I don't drink alcohol. I'm going to go for that one and pretend it's just a plain orange juice. Day or night sky? Well, I do like the clouds, but I'm keen on astronomy. Pick a donut. This is a difficult one. I do like my donuts. I'm torn between the chocolate ring and the jam field. Um, and I got the jam field one because it reminds me of school. Went to a donut factory once when I was at school. Plick, plick. What? What is plick? I can't speak. Pick a season. I'm going. What well, I do like winter. I love the snow. Absolutely love the snow. But I don't think I'm going to get any snow where I am. Um, autumn. I do like. I like all of them. Um, See, when it says winter, outside it's just grey. Where I live, we don't get nice winters like that. It's just grey, 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 wet, cold and grey. A lot of grey. Um, so I'm going to say no to winter because of where I live. Summer I do like, autumn I like, but at the same time the nights are getting longer, days are getting shorter and this just messes up my energy. I'm going to go spring because the days are getting longer. Which pattern... Oh, I don't like either of them. Do I have to pick one? I suppose I'll pick the one I, I dislike the least. I'll go with that one. Which is the best dinner option? What are these? I'm not sure what that first one is. What is that? That cheese and... Is that bacon? Um, I'm going to make the screen a little bit bigger. You can see, uh, oh, I'm going to go pizza. Choose the perfect flower. 
I quite like daisies actually. Stay in or go out, stay in nice and cosy. Pick a wine, I don't like wine. Why must I pick a wine? I can't stand the stuff. Go white. Pick a mode of transportation. You see, now this is quite an, an American style quiz. I, mean, I know that because of, like it said, fall instead of autumn. Um, and it's like, oh, the road trip, going out in a car, nice long adventure. I live in the south of England. Everywhere is shit to drive. It's just congestion where I live. So, but then this thing is thinking, ah, road trip kick the car, you like the open road, it's lovely, but that just doesn't apply to where I live. So this this quiz is flawed a bit. Um, <coughs> I'm going to go airplane. Pick a spice, uh, I don't know, pepper. Pick an element. Air, fire, earth, water, I'm going to go fire. Adventure seeker, adventurer, exploration and travel are key to your happiness. You know that life is short and you strive to uh, blah 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 Ah, that's crap. Okay, so I don't know why I'm doing this one. Um, the hardest sex quiz you'll ever take. How much does the vagina grow when a woman is roused? It expands twice. So, yeah. Did you know that? Can you lose something in vagina? No, you can't lose something in there. You can get stuck up there, but you can't lose it. Um, how big is the clitoris? It's actually quite large, okay? It's internal. Look, they even have a diagram there. Look at that, isn't that nice? Is penis size really, really related to shoe size? No, it's not. It's not related to any other thing on your body, okay? Anyone that says, oh, big hands, big feet, doesn't mean anything. Uh, no, it can't tell someone is a virgin. What does penis cap to fit means? When two people get stuck together, that's an easy one. What has the bigger collection of nerve endings? Tongue clitoris, that's an easy one. What is the pedendal nerve? Well, that's what carries sensations. That's an easy one. Is it true or false? The neck of the cervix moves up and out of the way. Yes, that's an easy one. These are all really easy. Uh, what is the er average erect penis length? Well, actually, the average is actually five inches. Okay, that's the average. But I'm going to go with the six one there. What is the average erect penis circumference? Uh, that for the circumference or girth? What is produced in Cowper's glands in men? <coughs> I'm going to say pre ejaculatory fluid. Most of the fluids are semen made in the prostate gland. What carries sperm from the testes to the ejaculatory ring? Hang on, hang on, make sure I read this correct. What carries sperm from the testes to, yeah, from the testes, well that's vastethrins then. What percentage of men worldwide are circumcised? I don't know actually, I couldn't even guess on this one. Um, I'm going to say 30%, I don't know. Okay. It's basically just Jewish and Americans, really, isn't it? What is the... What is Perennis D's? A bent or curved penis. You don't ever want that. Can a woman get pregnant if she is on her period? Very, very, very difficult, but actually it is possible. What happens to the lateral orb... It's off frontal cervix during orgasm. Lateral uh, orbital orbitofrontal cortex. Um ooh. Go 
goes into overdrive. I think part of me is saying it shuts down. I think this is a trick question. Yes, got that right. I had to really think about that one. How does blood flow to the penis change during an erection? The arteries to the penis open wider and the veins away from the constrict leading to build up flows. The heart pumps faster. So no, that's, that's not even a challenge, that one. Which nerve does not run through the spinal cord? Ooh. Which nerve does not run through the spinal cord? The pelvic nerve, the pudendal nerve, the vaginal nerve. I don't know this one. Oh, I've got everything correct up to this point. I'm going to come back to that one. Ah. What is an anorgasmia? Right, so I've got everything correct, but this one, which nerve does not run through the spinal cord? I don't know, um, this is a pure guess. Um, that one. What did it say? Ah, oh, wrong! Right, um, if you know any online quizzes which are a little bit more entertaining than this one, please put a link in the description below here, and um, I will um, have a look at those because, to be honest with this one, I hadn't pre-planned any quizzes, I was literally just looking and then doing it as I film, so... As I say, if you find anything that's a bit more entertaining, let me know. I'll give that a play. And um, anyway, if you manage to stick it out to the end of the video, that's brilliant. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe by clicking here on my face or down here below. Thumbs up if you like this video. Click the bell for notifications, blah, blah, all that stuff. You are brilliant. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Bye.